In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a curve timeline with seven steps. As you can see here, this is the starting point. I have added the text called start and then here the step one with the different color combination and with the icon here, you can add step one, the text and the detailed text at the bottom. And then it goes to step two with the different icon. You can see here three, four, five, six and seven. And then at uh, end it is success. So depending on your requirement, you can just add uh, as many options you want. You can see here I have added uh, one more uh, slide where I've added nine option here. You can see here nine steps, step one to step nine. So depending your requirement, you can add or uh, reduce the text. And if you have not subscribed to my channel for Point University, please subscribe it now and make sure to enable the bell notification icon. You can join my telegram group with the help of this link and if you like to contribute to my channel you can do it through paypal or patreon the link is provided in the video description section and i have used office 2019 version to make this slide and if you're using the older version like 2007 or 2010 and then some options might not be available so let's start the tutorial add a new slide and then go to view enable the guide now i'm going to insert the rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle depending on your requirement so i'm just going to make maybe this much height and width shape outline make it no outline and make sure that it is aligned center then i'm going to add a few more rectangles press ctrl d to duplicate and then i can just place it here and i can reduce the size you can see here and press ctrl d to duplicate like this i can reduce but how to make this uh, curve shaped here for that i'm going to insert the oval shape go to insert shapes and from the basic shape select the oval shape draw the oval shape by holding the shift key so that you get a perfect circle shape here and then shape outline make it no outline then align center align middle then i'm going to keep only this part and the rest of the part i can delete it so whichever part you need you need to go to insert shapes and select the rectangle and i'm going to select this part which is the top part and then hold the shift key first select this one and then hold the shift key select this rectangle merge shape i can simply intersect all right and make sure that no outline is selected and then i'm just going to bring it here and then i can increase the height and width to match this one so you have to hold the shift key and then just increase it all right so i'm just going to increase it all right so it's perfect now you can see here and now based on this one i can just reduce it again you can see here let me just duplicate or delete this one i'll move it somewhat up and hold the control shift key together and i'm going to add it one at the bottom now I want to continue here for this I'm going to select press ctrl D to duplicate bring it here and then you can just rotate it you can see here I can rotate flip horizontal and then I can rotate flip vertical and I want to give a equal gap here and then I'm going to select this press ctrl D to duplicate you can see here now how many you want to add two or three depending on your requirement you can just duplicate this one and then again press ctrl d bring this side and then again you can see here i can rotate left 90 degrees all right and then i'm going to copy this or i can just duplicate this press ctrl d to duplicate and bring it here and i would like to add one more press ctrl d you can see here if you want to add more also you can add it so depending on your requirement and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d and again i'm going to just rotate this one you can see here i can use so many options available here all right and then let me just copy this to press ctrl d so depending on your requirement how many you want you can just keep on adding that one all right now this one i'm going to select and put it here all right now i can simply select all this three and move it here all right and for this i can copy this one press ctrl d to duplicate you can see here like this you can just do one by one so again 
I can simply select this you can see here I can select all of this here press ctrl D and move it here all right and again let me just copy this and again make sure it is properly aligned and this one I can just make it two or three and then I can simply copy this press ctrl D you can see here I'm just copying this one and then last I'm going to copy this here all right till here so you can see here with this our design is completed now i can just select all by pressing ctrl a and if you want you can just move it up also here something like this and then go to format shape fill i'm going to choose some light color here all right so you end up getting a shape something like this now it's time to uh, change the color as per our requirement for certain rectangles only so I'm going to change the colors. So for this, uh, this is the start point. I'm going to give some uh, different colors. You can go to shape fill and go to more fill colors and choose any color of your choice from standard or from the custom. So I can just choose any color of my choice. You can see here and then for this end, I can choose maybe some green color. And then let's add some text here. Text box and I'm going to say start center align choose some good font all right you can make it bold if you want and then the font color i'm going to choose white and press ctrl d to duplicate and then i'm going to place it here and say success all right so this is the start and the success text and then in between you can add a different colors for each step so I'm going to choose this one okay so if, if depend on your requirement maybe you can choose this this or this whichever you feel better so you can just go to more format and then choose any color of your choice you can see here maybe I'm just going to choose this color and I'm going to add one for maybe this you can see here and I'm going to choose not some different color combinations all right so maybe this one and then i'm going to choose maybe one here let me just choose maybe this color you can see here and then i'm going to choose so any color of your choice depending on your requirement you can just add it so let me just choose maybe some nice colors for this all right and then i'm going to choose one for this and then here also one so i've already set it one two three four five six all right so maybe seven or eight whatever you want different color combinations again and then you can increase or decrease this also the shades here all right and then here also i'm going to choose some nice colors and then the last one here all right so we have added the different colors now if you're using the latest version of powerpoint uh, then you got this particular icons options i'm using 2019 so in 2019 you have got this one so randomly i'm just going to select a few icons some randomly depending on your requirement you can just choose that one and then just move this aside sorry move this aside here and i'm going to make the height and width as 0.5 only and then just place it one by one depending on your requirement you can see here I'm going to just place it exactly here all right so let me just put this one here also so still one shot is there you can see here I've added one two three four five six seven eight and nine one more which is I need to just go and randomly select one more here 
so you've got wide variety here i can just choose any and then i'm just going to place it here and this also i'm going to make it 0.5 and place it here all right so you can see here we have changed the colors and we have added the required icons and now it's time to add more detailed text to it so let me just go to insert text box and i'm going to say step 01 01 i can make it bold and change the same font to roboto sorry let me just make it all roboto all right and then i can just reduce the size and maybe center align or left align depending on your requirement i'm just going to place it here and then you can add some detailed text here all right and this one i'm going to make it somewhat lighter gray reduce the size and center align or right align also i can just place it here and then press ctrl d just add all right center align press ctrl d i'm going to add it here and later on depending on your requirement you can just align it all right so i can just add it here i'm just pressing ctrl d to duplicate all right you can see here now just change this one from step one so this will be step two this will be step three four five six seven eight and the last one is nine all right so with this we have completed this one and if you want to add some uh, basic animation like wipe or uh, stretch of uh, animations you can just add it here